general. How are you? We got three people here. Hi, I'm Charles. Nice to meet you. Good to see you. Hi, James. Good to meet you. Well, I'm sure you came so late and we had no way of knowing you're coming because sure. I'm about to leave in a few minutes myself. And oh, yeah? So is Amy. So, but I'll give you a little time to tell you some things about, uh, Would you? about J.D. Salinger. Good. Catcher in the Rye, the reason it took so long for me to read is that he captured the spirit of the school. Pensy Prep was Valley Forge Military Academy. He talked about the um, dormitory that has showers in between. Well, that was Wheeler Hall. And uh, there was a shower between e each two rooms and um, made it very convenient because you take your shower and, and take care of yourself very easily uh, at any time. And he talked about a young man who uh, fell from the roof and was killed. Uh, that actually happened, but the boy didn't die. And then the characters that he uh, wrote about. Uh, there was a, a Robert Ackley, uh, but the Ackley that was here was just a tremendous man. Great athlete, and basketball player, went on to Naval Academy, had a full career as a naval officer. But the one that I had the most uh, fun with was, I think it was Stradladder. Well, Stradladder was a combination of about three cadets. The miracle was he was able to blend the personalities of three people into one person. Of course, General Baker, who was our superintendent at the time, was not very happy with him. First of all, he wrote, wrote all those F words. And uh, secondly, he, he uh, made fun of, of the president of the school who uh, shined up to uh, the wealthy parents. And of course, that was a direct reflection on General Baker. And for years, the book itself, if you wanted to uh, a copy of it, you went quietly to the librarian and said, May I have cash from the ride? And she'd go to the back room and give it to her. Now we teach her in all our classes. Uh, now what you have here is the Book of Remembrance. We lost 123 people in uniform. In fact, one of the last one we just entered and we felt that he had done his service for his country was uh, one of our firemen from uh, New York, who was in that collapse of the building, but he's become he's become such a recluse. It's just a, a, Why do you a shame. Think that is? I don't know. Uh, maybe the that part of the Holden Caulfield that is in him, uh, he is so much like Holden Caulfield himself. In fact, uh, one of the things that I had written one time, or somebody wrote, uh, indicating I said he was Holden Caulfield. He wasn't that much of a person for discipline, but he didn't get in trouble. You know, he's careful enough not to. Uh, uh, to skirt the edges, but he never did anything wrong that I know of. I mean, he belonged to, he was just another guy in the Corps of Cadets. This is the football field. So this is the, where the field was, and, and the baseball field was, was over here, and where the chapel is. So when he talks about a cannon, I don't know what, whether it was this cannon or whatever it was, but that's where the field was. That's this a... was Wheeler Hall where J.D. Salinger lived. Uh, no, I'm sorry, not, that, that he talked about. The, the room that had, used to have the showers, which are blocked up now, uh, or are located right over there. Hey, everyone, don't come out of the hallways yet. Don't come out. Stay in, stay in. 